Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create the underwater graphic effect. Notice how the graphic contours to the water and how the reflections on the surface remain bright and natural. I provided the swimming pool water image that you could download so you can follow along. Its link is in my video's description or project files. Before we begin, smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my Photoshop tutorials. Open an image of a graphic that you'd like to use for this project. If it's on a background, we'll need to remove it from the background. If it exists without a background, you can skip this step. Since in this example, the background is a solid color, I'll use the magic wand tool. If your graphic is also on a solid color, use this tool as well. Make sure contiguous is checked. This will prevent the inside of your graphic from being selected. Click anywhere on the background to select it. To check it, press Q on your keyboard to see it as a quick mask. Press Q again to revert it back into a selection. Click the lock icon to unlock the layer and press the delete key to delete the background. Deselect it by pressing Ctrl or Command D. Press V to open your move tool and drag your graphic onto the tab of the water image. Without releasing your mouse or pen, press and hold the Shift key as you drag it down and release. Holding Shift kept our graphic centered over the water. To adjust the size of our graphic, we'll open our Transform tool by pressing Ctrl or Command T. Go to a corner. If you're using CC 2019 or later, press and hold Alt or Option as you drag it in or out. For earlier versions, press Alt or Option plus Shift as you drag it. Then press Enter or Return. Make the water background active. We'll make a copy of it by pressing Ctrl or Command J. We'll use this copy for our displacement map, which will make our graphic conform to the contours of the water. Click the icon at the upper right and click Duplicate Layer. Open the document list and click New. Type in Displacement. Notice it created a new document of the same name. Displacement maps look best when they're desaturated and blurred. To desaturate it, press Ctrl or Command Shift U. Go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Blur it 3 pixels. Go to File. If you're using a version earlier than CC 2021, click Save As. For later versions, click Save a Copy. Save it to your desktop as a Photoshop PSD file and click Save. If you see this message, just click OK. Now that we saved it, we can close the document. Click Yes to save the changes to our displacement image and click Save. Again, click OK. We can delete our background copy since we don't need it anymore. Make your graphic active and click the icon at the upper right. Click Convert to Smart Object. This will allow us to modify it non-destructively as well as allow us to replace it with a different graphic without having to redo the effects. Go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Blur it two pixels. Go back to Filter, Distort, and Displace. Displace it anywhere from 10 to 20 pixels. You can always adjust the amount later if you want. Tick Stretch to Fit and Repeat Edge Pixels. Click Desktop. Click your displacement file and click Open. Notice your graphic has warped itself around the contours of the water. Change the Blend Mode to Lighten and reduce its opacity to 40%. Make a copy of the layer and change its blend mode to overlay. Increase its opacity to 70%. Lastly, we'll place it in perspective of the water. First, we'll group our graphic layers into a folder by shift clicking layer 1 to make it active as well and pressing Ctrl or Command G. Open your transform tool. 
If you see this message, it's just letting us know that it won't update the displacement map to the graphics new perspective until we press enter or return. Go to a bottom corner of the transform's bounding box and press and hold Control Alt Shift on Windows or Command Option Shift on a Mac, or you can go to Edit, Transform, and Perspective. Drag it out approximately this much to match the perspective of the water. Then press Enter or Return. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.